have a fun collab with some other vegan YouTubers that are absolutely amazing and I can't wait for you to check out their videos as well. In fact, their videos will be linked down below in the description box, so feel free to head down there after this video is over and go check them out. They're gonna have some amazing recipes. But today I'm actually sharing a family recipe that I have veganized. This is tater tot hot dish and this is huge during the holidays. My grandmother used to make this all the time and my mom just shared the recipe with me. You guys, it is so freaking easy and so perfect for the holiday season coming up. You are just gonna love it. It is very much unhealthy vegan food, but it is such comfort food. It is amazing. And that, as I said, is going to be this tater tot hot dish. It has, what, four ingredients, I believe, and then you can add some salt and seasoning if you want. Um, obviously there's tons of different ways that you can do tear tot hot dish and yes because I come from Minnesota it is hot dish and not casserole that's how you know it is actually from Minnesota but this is so easy to make that it's just gonna be so great for all of your holiday parties coming up and I just love the fact that I could veganize one of my grandmother's old recipes but without further ado I'm gonna try you to make this very easy very simple Minnesotan appetizer that you can use for all of your holiday parties this season okay to get started you're going to need some sort of pan just to fry the fake meat on and then you're also going to need a oven safe pan you're also going to be needing some type of fake meat that you can crumble. Today I'm going to be using Beyond Beef. And then you'll need some cream style corn, some tater tots of your choosing. You can also go with like cauliflower and sweet potato if you'd like to make this a bit healthier. And last but not least, you're also going to be needing some shredded vegan cheese. Today I'm using Daya. I really wanted to use BioLife, however I just couldn't find it near me for this video. First step, if you do not have a already pre-crumbled vegan meat, you're gonna wanna crumble it. I would definitely recommend getting a pre-crumbled just because this process took a little bit longer than if I did the garden crumbles or something like that. Now, you honestly don't even have to fully cook this because they are gonna get cooked in the oven. You just need to get them to a crumble so that you can put them at the bottom of the oven safe pan. After that, you're gonna layer on the cream style corn or the cream of corn and try to even it out to the best of your ability. It honestly does not have to be perfect. It's gonna taste good no matter what. And after that, it's time to add the main ingredient and that of course is going to be the tater tots. And this is the point where if you'd like to layer on some seasoning or salt, you can totally do that at this step. But then basically you're going to cook it for a little bit under what the tater tot bag says. And that's because before it fully finishes, we're gonna add some vegan cheese to it now, for some reason, my camera was not recording when I was putting on the cheese, so you're just seeing a bunch of cheese on it. And then you're gonna cook it for about five to 10 minutes. It just really depends on how melted you want the cheese. And voila, you are finished. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that very short recipe video. This is honestly so amazing and so sweet. The cream of corn really sweetens up the whole thing and then you get the amazing saltiness of the salt and tater tots. And then also you get that little bit of meatiness from the Beyond Meat meat. Now you do have to crumble it because this doesn't come crumbled. However, if you use like garden crumbles, it's already pre-crumbled, so you don't even have to cook it on the stove. It makes it 10 times easier. You just layer it all on and then all you have to do is put on the cheese. Obviously, you can be a lot more creative with this, but this is just a very basic, very simple tear tot hot dish that I absolutely love. It reminds me of my childhood. I used to eat this all the time. So I'm really excited that it is super easy to veganize. Again, it is not very healthy at all. In fact, if you head down below in the description box, you're gonna click on a link. It'll take you to the recipe and it'll also share the nutrition information and you're gonna see that I'm not lying. It's not very nutritious. However, it is perfect for the holiday season when we're just throwing health out the window and we're just enjoying company and a good time. But that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this very short, very simple recipe video. Please don't forget to go and check out the other wonderful YouTubers that made some other amazing yummy recipes that you can go ahead and make at home as well so don't forget to head down below and check them out they're gonna have some amazing recipes for you guys and I am so excited that I could collab with them they are so amazing and so sweet and I just love their channels so 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 much also if you do end up making this really really easy and simple tear tot hot dish let me know in the comments below what you think about it or if you change the recipe in any way let me know that as well 
Or if you actually make tater tot hot dish slash casserole uh, in a different way, let me know how you make it as well because I'm very curious about that because there are so many different ways to make it. But other than that, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for all my future content. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.